Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a low poly out of your uh, height map. So in my case that's the height map and here is the low poly. It's not ideal, uh, there's a lot of topology on there that you could get rid of. Best way to do it is by hand, topo, retopology, but in this case I just wanted something quick. So first off I'm gonna go into uh, ZBrush and uh, I'll show you how to do that in here. Then we'll go into Houdini and we'll uh, redo the same thing uh, but procedurally. So first off we need a we need a plane. Let's just get a plane. Append. Go to plane 3D. Uh, I don't want this. Turn that off. Okay. So let's just rotate this. Hold shift and rotate. Okay, so there we go. Now I need to put in the put on the uh, texture on there. Then we'll just extrude wherever there is white. So wh the white areas will get bumped up, and the black will stay down there. So let's uh, put on the texture. Go to uh, texture map, new texture, image, import and we'll get uh, our image in there just put the texture on there um, there we go so but now before we do anything uh, I just want to see the topology on there so we don't have enough topology there, there's not enough to tessellate this uh, so let's just subdivide a couple of times you just hit ctrl D do it multiple times uh, again okay 200,000 I guess that's enough okay now we need to mask this according to the color so go to masking and mask by color intensity intensity of the black and white so now it's masked I can just extrude this and there you go we got ourselves an actual 3D object from a height map. Okay, let me just turn off the uh, texture on there. Okay, turn off the topology. Okay. It's a bit uh, tessellated, so let me just polish it a bit. And under deformation, polish just a tiny bit. Okay. So, and afterwards, all we have to do is just decimate this a bit and we'll uh, we can UV it with a planar uh, projection and it's kinda usable it's not ideal best way to do it by hand but this is just a quick fix uh, 5% let's say just decimate okay that's quite a lot Any. Okay, something is going on. Okay, uh, I had my mask on, so I control and drag. Okay, we'll do this again. And pre process current one more time so it processes the whole mesh. Okay, and decimate. So I feel like I could go even lower. So let's change from 20 to 5. Decimate current. Okay, this is usable. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go into Houdini and do the same thing over again. Okay, I've already did this and I have uh, I just uh, broke this down on my art station post, but we'll just. Uh, go over it again uh, and let's just do it again here okay so put down a geo node so you hit tab and you type in whatever and geometry so we go in this inside just double click go inside and now in here we need a height field file to uh, plug in our texture and in, inside of it so hf file 
so you could kind of see there's already a texture in by default and if you use the height scale and bump that up it'll do the same thing we were doing in ZBrush we'll just bump things up okay uh, I just need my uh, height map I don't want I want I don't want this I, I'll just grab my uh, my own accept okay let's just bump this some more 150 okay I'm happy with this so now we need to turn this into geometry this is uh, this is not geometry this is some sort of voxels or something that Houdini uses so let's just turn the height field into geometry so convert height field plug that in okay now we have topology on there it's it's really dense so we want to lower this uh, poly count so we could use poly reduce plug that in okay uh, let's do a 2% okay here we go so that's uh, automatic poly reduce and if we go to the UVs we can click uh, one of these just to s uh, split the viewport and the, if you hit space 1 two three four space five that's the UVs so it's already UV so we can actually apply our textures later on on top if you want to reduce even more just go even lower there if you don't want the edges around those areas in there we can uh, delete them and we can use a wrangle to delete them and in here we can type in some code in there uh, Houdini actually for uh, let's just go back to the single okay so uh, if you turn on the points there these are your points but the best thing about Houdini if you turn on that over there each point has a number so you can tell Houdini I want to delete point 21725 and it'll know which point to delete so and not just points there's also faces and here they call them primitives uh, if you hit shift W we shift W we get the uh, uh, topology on here so for this face right there the primitive I could tell Houdini to delete this primitive for example if I use blast and instead of blasting everything I could tell it to just select this face 70553 and primitives Prim primitives are the faces and hit the visualize button there and now this is gone This is crazy. So we can now somehow tell Houdini to delete all the flat faces down here. Just the ones that sit on the ground. And what do you think these faces on the ground have in common? They're on the ground. <laughs> so we'll tell Houdini to delete all the faces on the ground, which is zero on the y-axis so for each face on the y-axis I want the faces to be deleted let's do that in this triangle right there so first off go to primitives primitives so that we can uh, control the uh, the faces down there so we need an if if something something else happens okay so in here in here in this area we need 
to tell Houdini if uh, the faces are on the Y0 and down here we need to tell it to delete them so if at prem number prem num less than uh, seven let's say if it's less than seven if at p dot y my bad so if uh, the position y was less than seven i want houdini to remove remove prim so we remove the primitives and primitives from uh, index 0 uh, at prem num 1 okay there we go so all the uh, primitives on that are less than 7 maybe less than we can do less than 2 or less than 20 so this number will decide the height on which we're deleting the primitives so if you don't if you didn't understand what i wrote in here you could click on the blue uh, color there the blue uh, words and just hit F1 and this menu will uh, pop up and it will tell you uh, this is expression what's what does it need so it needs a geo handle a prem number and the points and for geo handle that's the uh, explanation for it for the prem number that's the explanation and points that's the explanation so if you wanna go more into it just read on that right there now if you're uh, just tired of uh, keep writing numbers by hand in here you could uh, just type in ch and that's a channel inside of it name it whatever control enter and now we can use the slider to delete how, how much we want to delete on there so we could just slide it even more and we keep deleting stuff as the number gets uh, higher so I want this like at 5 I'm happy with this so now to export this you wanna put down a file file node plug that in uh, bypass it first so it doesn't keep exporting stuff once we're happy with it we uncheck that uh, read file instead of read we'll go to write files and just save it wherever you want and then once you're happy with it just uncheck that and hit the visualize button and it'll uh, export uh, your mesh out uh, another way to do it is uh, fbx uh, rob fbx and plug that in and same thing just save it wherever and save to disk you hit that button right there uh, although uh, you don't ha you might not have this in the uh, apprentice edition uh, but I'm pretty sure you have this this one uh, but you cannot export as FBX you can export as OBJ uh, until you unless you have the indie license you can export as FBX I think so uh, anyways so that's all for today. I will uh, see you next time.